Welcome and hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 9th to the 16th, 2022. Coming in behind you, you have been given the man. Now, it's interesting because you do have the Knight of Cups coming in, and this could be somebody new. This could be you're falling in love, or there could be a wedding proposal coming in that's possible, or someone close to you that you know this could be happening with. You need to balance your emotions at this time, dealing with this interim, in, this this energy coming in towards you. But if it's not you falling in love, you could be receiving an invitation to go to a wedding uh, of some sort. And it could be a same-sex wedding because part of this man here in the 28 card in the Letterman deck talks about same sex or it could be someone that you know that you're going to a wedding with or for so this is beautiful but I always look at this as a partner coming in towards you a potential partner or someone who comes with a gift this person is there for you they have your back and very similar look-alikes here it's interesting but I do think that there's going to be an announcement of some sort of a partnership here coming in for some of you so beautiful someone you can talk to someone who who is fun and and it could, you could almost feel as though this is a past life uh, connection for some of you as well. Now, coming in in the center of this particular reading here, you do have the Six of Pentacles. And there's going to be some negotiations, but I do believe they're going to go well. There may be some push-pull, give-take, barter systems going on here this week. And it could have to do with finances or in business. Now, for others, it might be in conversations. It might be the energy that you're creatively, uh, you know, communicating to other another person or other people. Um, I do believe that maybe you're receiving something here. You could be receiving... You could be receiving a gift of time, effort, support, or money from someone, or you could be the the uh, the giver. You could be doing this yourself, initiating it. It's almost like when I see this card, it's a card of charitable acts. You could be getting involved in uh, in wanting to give something to someone else, or someone is charitably giving it to you, or you could be getting involved in a nonprofit association here where you're going to be doing that. Now, I always look at this as well. Um, you know, uh, th you know, you you may have the resources now to create this dream. Maybe the dream is to build a partnership here with someone, uh, whether in life, maybe you're, you know, or whether in business. So whether you're planning a wedding or you're planning a, a business or you're planning partnership here. Um, you're definitely going to be getting the resources that you want. Now, coming in next, uh, you have the Ten of Wands. And you've pushed yourself very hard, a lot of you. I do believe you felt as though you were pulling dead weight or pushing dead weight uphill. You had Your workload was very heavy. Now you've come to the realization that this struggle really isn't worth doing again. And I think you're going to be lightening the load. You're, going to, you're no longer the burst of beating your burden. You're going to beast of burden <laughs> that's a tongue twister you're going to be letting go of a lot of that weight moving forward now is going to be much much easier so it's the end of that that hard hard push that you've gone through that hard load that you've had to take on the hard work you've had to do so beautiful interesting cards here coming in behind you now in the center position here you do have uh the ace of wands great opportunities the five of wands competition and struggle and healing through a situation so um we're going to go in here with the passion card first it will take it will take passion for you to push through your self-criticism to get to a place of confidence so let go of the past here like she is she she realizes she doesn't want to go through this struggle anymore she's letting go she's throwing it out into uh, into mother earth or throwing it out into the universe and allowing herself to be grounded again so um again it's going to take some great willpower on your part here to move forward in a positive direction. Now, if we take the number 63, broken down, it's a 9. And that's about fulfillment and luck and fate and achieving your goal by being passionate here. So, interesting. Ace of Wands says get ready for new opportunity, doors opening, perhaps a new job. Maybe you're thinking of your own business, becoming your own entrepreneur. Maybe you're getting a raise at work. Maybe, you know, this is a beautiful promotion here coming in. In, but there's doors of opportunity opening and you need to keep your eyes open and your mind open to differences here to move forward you you feel as though you've been pushed and had to uh, defend yourself stand up for yourself and maybe even compete at some level
level here. But I do believe that you're going to be letting that go. I think, you know, you're healing uh, through a situation here that left some disappointment in your life. Uh, you know, for some of you, it might have been in a relationship. For others, it could have been partnership and business. It could have been anything. Um, there could have been someone that stepped up as a third party that beaked off and created this havoc in your life. But it's over. You've you've dealt with it. You're moving on. You've got new opportunities presenting themselves. The struggle, I believe, is over. And you're going to be able to be passionate now and go for your goals that you want. So, wow. Okay, coming in towards you, possible future energy, you've got make a wish. Yes, I love it. So it's all about positivity and changes coming in right now and being open-minded to believe that you can create what it is you want and see growth coming in. So you know what? This card is a gentle reminder to set clear intentions about what you wish for in your life. You are being asked, what would you like? At this moment, anything's possible. If you were given one wish, what would you wish for? Trust that your wish will be granted at the most opportune time and in the manner that supports you to your fullest. Okay? So blow those seeds out into the universe those little tidbits of ideas and watch how things grow but in order to do that you have to maintain a mindset of positivity here so let's see what we have coming in with that great positive card you have the king of swords support coming in perhaps this could be institutions you're dealing with you could be dealing with lawyers the crown judges you know uh, magistrates anything like that or anything of a legal possibility you could be signing documents maybe uh you know if you are going forward this could be anything when we sign documents they have to be notarized and sometimes it takes someone and it's legal and it's once we put our pen to paper on that it becomes witnessed and legal so you could be dealing with anything you could be signing a mortgage of business rent uh you know uh rent uh anything anything loans um, you know, maybe a wedding certificate. Whatever the case is, it could be something of a legal matter. But this could be somebody who's going to represent you. You could be uh, also uh, retaining a lawyer or somebody uh, that can advise you on a situation as you move forward. There might have been a disappointment in your past, but you could just maybe be reminiscing and romanticizing about it. But often I look at this as crying over spilt milk. Wipe up that milk. Know that there's still cups to be filled. Let go of that mindset that you, de you dealt with because you're healing through it now the struggles that you had are over you've got new passionate opportunities coming forward that are going to open doors for you to make decisions and you might be right now confused with all the opportunities that are presenting themselves this week again you've heard me call this the eeny meeny miny mo card but i have to be serious this has to do with longevity this has to do with lasting the test of time and what's going to benefit you to your greater good so take your time when you're thinking of it seven of cups okay let's break down the seven the seven is representative of you know discipline work ethic changes uh coming in and often struggle so make sure you're very careful about what it is you want you learn from the past but don't doubt there don't doubt your motives here don't doubt your direction you've got guidance here that's going to guide you through a situation and if you can't make a decision on a signature that's legal and binding and life-changing then get the help that you need here and they will guide you through this because if you make a wish this can happen moving forward now you've got surrender to your intuition Turn in to your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, or aha moments that come through to guide you. So we, we never go wrong if we do tap into our intuition and we do listen to that inner voice of wisdom. Uh, you know, we've all been in those situations where something has said, you know, I don't feel good about this. Then we do the research. Then we're careful. And then we make a command decision what it is we want to do, right? Or if you, you know, if you find something that looks really, really good and you've looked at it from every angle uh, and you've done your research then go for it so this is allowing you to tap into your higher self listening to your your intuition and trusting the guidance it's sending you so we all have that ability and often when we do this we never go wrong when we trust our intuition so all in all it's not a bad reading my beautiful uh aquarians you're healing through a situation just don't dote on it too much because what will happen is it'll grow on you okay you don't want to dote on something too long especially if it's negative let that pass go you're moving ahead you've got opportunities 
presenting themselves. You've dealt with your struggles. You know, you're going to have the resources that you need and also the support that you need to move forward to help and guide you. Make the decisions so that you can tap into your dream and your wish here coming true. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today. But before we move on, we're going to do our clarification. So let's see what we've got here. Spirit, what do they need to see, know, and expect? See what we've got here, because it looks like you're going to have a great week here. Let's see what we have for our Knight of Cups, our Six of Pentacles, and our Ten of Wands. We have, again, the double message here, the Five of Wands. So walk away from any unnecessary battles here. Don't allow yourself to struggle with too much competition or even compete with others that want to bring that in. But this is about standing up for what you want but and not getting discouraged, but not getting involved in things that are going to stress you out. Now, coming in with the Ace of Wands, that opportunity, all those doors opening, again, the struggle you might be having and healing through a situation with the Three of Swords, you've got the Two of Swords. So being conflicted about making a decision here with someone else um, it's the beginning of that so let go of that look for guidance here or mediation here to lay the cards out fairly on the table are you dealing some of you with a legal issue is it the disbursement of settlements property whatever the case is um, it again I think is push pull energy here coming in um, but I think if you see the picture and open your eyes and you get all the information that you need to see clearly you will be able to make this decision so uh, you feel as though you're at a crossroads here just make sure you do your research so that you you can keep your eyes open to see what's out there now coming in with your king of swords your five of cups and your seven of cups you've got the death card yeah something's ending here you're moving in a new direction you've been given the gift of doors opening of opportunity to create a rebirth for yourself so there could have been some legal issue here maybe you've gone through some of you a divorce or separation of some sort maybe in business partnership or in love but you're moving forward now uh, and and don't regret it because life has taught you the lessons that you needed and now you can be passionate and know that you can dream again and have that come true for you so be passionate about your new beginning here know that you've got support here coming in you've got three here uh, indications of support here that's going to be here to guide you through this next process on your journey here so death is endings and new beginnings could be the end of anything the end of a relationship the end of a job contract the end of a project but you're definitely moving forward in this beautiful new direction and just trust your gut feelings on this this week well have a great positive week and always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon.